Hey Finsters, let's discuss an interview question wherein you will be asked to reverse the vowels in a given string. So without further delay, let us go ahead and understand what the problem statement asks us to do. So the problem statement says you will be given a string S such that you have to reverse only all the vowels present in the string and then return the output. So I hope you know what are the vowels in English language. So they are A, E, I, O and U. And please note that we will not be including the alphabet Y in this case. So to understand this question better, let us go ahead and let's have a look at a few examples. Now in the first example, we have a string which is Unoya. I hope I pronounced it properly. If not, please pardon me. But the point is that this string consists of all the alphabets in English. So this is an interesting word which consists of all the alphabets in English. Now this is simply a case of reversing the entire string here. And why so? If you see, you simply have to reverse the order of E and A. Then you have to reverse the order of U and I. Then you have to reverse the order of N and O. This means you have to go ahead and reverse the entire string in this case to get the final output. Now let's move on to the second example which will make things clear for you. So let's say that the given string is Pinkster. Now in this case, the vowels in this string are I and E. So you simply have to go ahead and swap the positions of I and E. So this means the output should be F E N X T I R. Similarly, let's have a look at the third example. Here we have three vowels which are E, O and O. So now if you have a look at the string, then the first vowel from the left end is E, while the first vowel from the right end is O. This O, that is the last letter. So you have to swap the positions of these two alphabets or these two vowels such that the final output should be H O L L O E. Then let's have a look at another example wherein we do not have any vowel. So in this case, the string will remain as it is. So I hope you understood what the question asks you to do. Now to understand how we can solve this question, let us first have a look at the code and then we will implement the code on a few examples and find how this code is working. Now I know this is not the approach that we have followed so far, but trust me in this case, this approach will help you to understand how this algorithm is working. So let's dive into the code and let's understand how this algorithm or this code will work and then we will implement the code upon a few examples. So that will give you a better idea about how to proceed with this question. So this is the code that will help us to solve the problem. Now let's understand what's happening in this code. We have a list wow which stores all the vowels in English. Then we have another variable by the name new underscore s and this variable stores all the characters of the given string within a list. So we are simply going ahead and converting the string into a list using the list method. So now we have the two lists and now it's time to initialize couple of pointers. These are the pointers which will help us to swap the vowels in the given string. So these pointers are i and j such that initially i points at the 0th index while j points at the last index or the last character of the given string. So let's visualize this. So let's say that this is the list u underscore s which consists of all the characters of the given string. Hence initially i will point at the 0th index which is the starting character of the given string while j will point at the last character which is the last index of the list. So the arrow in black is j while the arrow in green is i. Now I hope you understood the positions of the pointers i and j initially. Now we move inside a while loop and we iterate as long as the value of the i pointer or the value pointed by the i pointer is always less than or equal to the value pointed by the j pointer. So that's how long we iterate within this loop. 
Now within this loop, the actual function begins. Now the fundamental principle behind this algorithm is that you simply have to shift the pointer i towards the right or you have to shift the pointer j towards the left and then you simply have to go ahead and swap the values at the indexes which are pointed by these pointers. So let me explain that to you within this diagram. What happens is pointer i shifts towards the right while the pointer j shift towards the left. Now once we have shifted them properly, you simply have to go ahead and swap the values pointed by i and j. So this means something like this happens. We simply swap the values pointed by i and j. So the question is when do we shift the pointer i towards the right and when do we shift the pointer j towards the left? To answer that, we need the help of another while loop and within this while loop, we check is the value of i less than j and is the value at the ith index not present in the list wow. So this also means that the character we are now dealing with is not a vowel. Only then this condition will be executed. Similarly, we move or we shift the pointer j towards the left only when i is less than j and the value at the jth index is not present in the list wow. So that means we simply shift the pointers i and j when the character is not a wall. As soon as it is a wall, we break out of the while loop and then we simply go ahead and swap these values. And once we swap these values, we increment the value of i by 1 and we decrease the value of j by 1. This continues as long as i is less than or equal to j and once all the walls have been swapped, we simply go ahead and convert the new underscore s list into a string and then we return it as an output. Now that we have a clear picture of how the code works, let's have a look at an example and let's implement this example on the code. So let's say that the given string to us is Finster. Our first task is to convert this string into a list. So there we go. Let's say that this is the list and each element of the list consists of the characters in the given string. Now our next task is to initialize the start and the end pointers. So these pointers were i and j such that i initially was pointing at index 0 while j points at the last index of the list which is 6. Now we begin our iteration such that the pointer i shifts towards the right and the pointer j shifts towards the left. Now as i shifts towards the right, it finds that the first index has a wall. Therefore, at this point of time, we do not move ahead with the i pointer. It's now time to play around with the j pointer. So now j shifts towards the left. And as soon as it shifts towards the left such that now it points at the index 5, Python finds that this index has another wall which is e in this case. Therefore, we now have a wall pointed by the i pointer while we also have a wall pointed by the j pointer. It's now time to swap these walls and reverse their order. So there we go. We have now swapped the two walls at each end. After this, we increase the value of i such that now i will point at the second index while we decrease the value of j such that j will point at the fourth index. So let's have a look at that. j now points at the fourth index while i now points at the second index. We now once again play around with the i and j pointers. We keep increasing the value of i until and unless it encounters a val or it is greater than the value of j. So in the next iteration, i will point at the third index and the third index has the letter x which is not a val. So i moves on to the next index which is 4. And once again, this index has an alphabet which is not a val. 
However, at this point of time, i is equal to j. So now i is not less than j. Hence, it is now time to move the j pointer towards the left. So let's go ahead and decrease the value of j such that now it points at the third index. Now at this point of time, the value of j is less than the value of i. So this also implies that we have reached the end of our loop and it's now time to return the output. So as you can see that the only vowels present in this string were i and t. So we simply swapped these values and now since this is a list, you have to convert this back into a string and then return it as an output. So to do that, you have to use the join method and then simply return the output as a string. There we go. As you can see, the output is as shown on the screen. So this is how the algorithm will work upon this example. And this is how it gets resolved. I hope this example helped you to visualize how the code is working and how you can go ahead with your algorithm. Since you have already seen how the code works, let's now go ahead and execute a few test cases on our code to find if our code actually works for all given cases. So let's say that the given test cases were as follows. Okay, so these are the given test cases. Now let's go ahead and execute this. And there we go. Let's cross check the output and the expected output. So this is the expected output and the output that we received is this. And this is exactly what we expected. Okay, now let's move on to the next example. The expected output is this and the output that we got is this and this is exactly the same. Okay, so the second example works as well. Now let's have a look at the third example and there we go. The outputs are once again matching. So this means this example works as well. And in the case of the fourth example, as you can see, it does not consist of any val. So Python should return this as it is. And that is what we got. So this example is also working. Now let's move on to the final test case. And the output expected is EAU and EAU is what we got. So this means our code works perfectly fine and you can definitely use in your interview. So I hope you found this to be helpful. If you have any doubts, please mention them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer all your queries. With that, we come to the end of this lecture. Please join me in the next lecture wherein we will be discussing another interview question. Thank you.